What's going on guys, it's ETA Prime back here again. Today I just want to give you a quick look at my Arcade 1UP powered by a Raspberry Pi 3B+. If you're not familiar with the Arcade 1UP systems, they're 300 bucks. It's a mini arcade. It stands 46 inches tall. I mean, these things are tiny. They do sell risers, but it was kind of lacking in the games department. I did a teardown video and a full review on this unit when it was stock. I'll leave links in the description if you want to check those out. I will have a full tutorial video on how to throw a Raspberry Pi inside of here. I just need to sift through a bunch of video. But if you watch to the end of this and you're good with electronics, you can actually go ahead and do it. You'll see everything I did. I will leave links for everything I used in the description below. So here it is guys, I am using the stock LCD monitor that came in the Arcade 1UP originally. I have switched out the buttons and the joysticks. I'm not a big fan of these LED buttons, but they were cheap enough for me not to really care. And they're actually higher quality than the ones that originally came in the Arcade 1UP unit. I wanted to get out as cheap as possible doing this, so I went on Amazon and I found this full button kit here with two joysticks, all the buttons, two USB encoders, for 40 bucks so I went with this if you want to go with real hat buttons or sandwas be my guest but it's really not worth it putting it in a cabinet like this I originally got everything together and then realized I really need a select button for player one and a select button for player two I thought about putting it on the side so what I went ahead and did was drill a hole right beside the player one and player two buttons so now I have four buttons up top instead of two and it looks pretty good I could have went all out and used real HAP or Sanwa buttons and a real expensive USB encoder, but I find that these cheap zero delay USB encoders work fine with the Raspberry Pi. This isn't a top of the line machine, we're not competitively gaming, so it's going to work fine for you. If you're not familiar with setting up a Raspberry Pi, I have tons of videos. Just search what you need to know and type in the ETA Prime behind it and you'll find it on YouTube. I could have went all out and put SNES and Sega Genesis and all kinds of stuff on here, but it's an arcade machine, so I stuck mainly with arcade games. I'm using MAME and the FBA. Got plenty of stuff on here. Got the whole collection of CPS1, CPS2, CPS3, I got Neo Geo, and I have some really old arcade games that I really like playing like Dig Dug and Pac-Man. One thing I've been looking around for is a nice 4x3 theme for RetroPie, but I also need collections built in like SNK Classics, Atari Classics, Midway Classics, CPS, Beat 'em Ups. If you know of any theme that has all of that built in and is based on a 4x3 foundation, let me know in the comments below. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and pull the back off this thing and I'm gonna show you what's inside of it now. I have a power strip at the very bottom powering everything. Here we have the Raspberry Pi 3B Plus and a Flirt case, a 12 volt amp, and this is using the speaker that's already built into the Arcade 1UP. And this is pretty much the heart here. This is an LCD controller. What this allows us to do is plug in the stock monitor and have an HDMI, DVI, or VGA input into this screen here. It also comes with a little adapter so you can make some color adjustments if you need to, but this is the stock screen inside of the Arcade 1UP, and I'm using an LCD controller. Here's the model number. I'm going to leave links to Amazon and eBay. I have found a ton of these, but you never know, they might sell out. I bought mine on Amazon for 28 bucks, but I have seen them on eBay for 16 Arcade 1UP used a pretty common 4x3 panel, so it should be really easy to find something like this. Moving on to the controller panel, I'm using two USB encoders. Now this whole kit came with everything you need. All the wires, the joysticks, the buttons, the encoders, and everything. It works fine with the Raspberry Pi. I thought about adding the stock on and off switch into the circuit, but I'm not even going to worry about it. This thing's going to stay on. And I'm just using the included speaker with that 12 volt amp I installed. There was no soldering involved whatsoever. You will have to have a little bit of wiring skills. Um, I did have to drill two extra holes because we need a select button for player one and a select button for player two. But other than that, it's a pretty straightforward install. If you've ever built a bar top kit before, you shouldn't have any trouble getting this up and running. I mean, it's really simple to do. Basically, what we have here is a big holder for the monitor and the buttons. And after you convert this monitor for HDMI, you can run pretty much anything you want on here. If you want to throw a little PC in here with LaunchBox or Hyperspin or a track mode, whatever you want to run on it, it'll work. So it's pretty easy to do. I really appreciate you guys watching. I am sifting through the footage I recorded when I was building this. I will have a tutorial video out very shortly. 
But in the meantime, I have links to Amazon and eBay in the description for everything I used on this build. If you guys could, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and like always, thanks for watching.